Tenants in one Mid-South apartment complex have been told to get out immediately and given little explanation. Lots of confusion for some tenants in Ripley, Tennessee, and that's where we find Action News 5's Tarverius Haywood, who is getting answers for residents who say they have nowhere else to go. I spoke to several people who live in Rolling Hills and Ripley Terrence apartments. They all are scared and upset as to why they have to go. Scared with no place to go. You never know when you're going to get a knock at the door. You're sleeping, can barely sleep, knowing that you probably get a knock on the door from someone telling you to get out right now and you have to go. That's not right. The place many have called home for years could be gone. We're already poor enough. We live on, you know, monthly income. And that don't take care of us, but now you want to evict us? Put us out in the street, homeless, nowhere to go. What kind of people are you? That's hypocrites to me because y'all say y'all Christians. Y'all full of shit. All of these people got this notice last Friday from the property owner's Hallmark companies to leave immediately. They all say it's unfair, especially with current living conditions. They said because of the leak upstairs that they don't want to repair nothing. They just shut it off. And how long has it been going on? Forever since I've been here and I've been asked to be moved and it just started today. The city of Ripley code enforcement telling us that we could not do any work until we vacated the whole entire property. This is not us. I am more than happy to give any y'all a copy of this. Candy Jones is the regional manager of Hallmark Companies. She says it's not the company that's telling people to get out, it's the city. In that court order, it says the current conditions happened over a period of time and the owners knew about it and didn't fix it in a timely manner. Therefore, it must be completely vacated for residential purposes until things can be fixed. And we have been working with the city with a set plan for them. They actually had state inspection come in on Wednesday and state said we were in compliance. We had everything that we needed. Then it comes down to a city level. The very next morning we get this. Jones says she's only been in the position for about six weeks and doesn't deny there has been neglect in the past. Mode of above the showers. She says since she's been there, they have been fixing units, but the city of Ripley stepped in with a stop work order. They gave us the same thing for Rolling Hills and we haven't even began over there yet because Rolling Hills is set for a full rehab from roof to ground starting the first week of July. Cassandra Alexander, a Ripley Terrence tenant says, the mayor of Ripley, Craig Fitzhugh, told the tenants they did not have to vacate. That was like a, a big release off of us. We were so happy when he said that. We didn't even know who he was. We were standing over there until he had said he the mayor. And he was like, well, he just want to say something. Y'all ain't really got to go nowhere. And that was a big release. That was number God. He, for real, gave okay, him the message to tell us we don't have to go nowhere. We were unable to independently confirm the mayor's alleged statements, but what we do know is with this new court order, she's left with so many unanswered questions. So what should tenants do right now? If you want, I'm willing to fight with y'all. If y'all want to stay, I will go fight with y'all. There's still a lot in the air right now. Tenants still don't know if they should. All right, that was our Tavarius Haywood report.